Hello, Scorpio. This is going to be your reading for mid-May to June. June. Fucking June. Of this current year. Hey, how are you doing, Sagittarius? I hope I didn't say Scorpio because I did that earlier and I started it. I probably did. But I'm not smart enough to know if I did or not. So we're just going to continue on as we are. As we are. If y'all are doing just dandy. I'm doing mighty fine. This is for a Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it too much. It's not that big a deal. I might get you next time. This is a card game after all. If you want a personal reading, my email is in the description below. I do not charge, but I do like donations, and my PayPal is in the same place. Um, you want the Ace of Cups. You want the love, but you don't want to deal with the burden that comes with the tower. You don't want to deal with that shit. Like, you want love, but you want away from bullshit, right? It takes too much out of you. It just sucks it right away. I can relate. Hiya. Okay. Let's see. Six of Swords. You want to go, 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 Power Rangers. Three of Pentacles and your wants and wishes to balance yourself out some. Three of Swords reverse and your fears and rejections. You're afraid of getting over a heartbreak and shit. Whatever. Four of Pentacles right here. Securities. Feeling pretty much stable. The star man right here in what your obstacles and challenges coming against you are. And the Hierophant reverse. It got stuck in my fingers. Yeah, Hierophant reverse, right? Um maybe the coming of bad omens, you know, lack of commitment, marriage. Possibly mutinies, possibly things changing, right? Um, lack of the establishment of the right order or overbearing tyrannical um, pope. Whichever you would. Uh, we also got the emperor right here. Someone sitting here all nice and pretty in their power. As they do. So let's see... Sagittarius. It seems like you're just wanting to... Either you or the person you're dealing with. It could be cross watchers too. Keep in mind. Um, it seems like... You are looking for something that will make you stable. You're trying to manifest something, but you're afraid of mending your broken heart. Trying to be balanced, trying to be stable... But you just aren't... There's just this lack of commitment here. Like, did you run out of followers or something? <laughs> um, yeah, you're looking for a reason to stay with this... Or a reason to leave. You're looking for calmer waters. Because you are definitely, definitely emotionally troubled in this. You feel like all your options are empty. They're not filling or fitting anymore. Either to your heart, your personality, what gives you a drive, everything just seems empty. That just went all over the floor. Hmm. There's something you want to work on, but you just don't know how to go about working on it. And you feel like that there was an offer that was supposed to come your way that just never made it something there right and what's kind of hidden from you is like this impulsivity to move is like a wish fulfillment possibly like you asked for this to happen but unfortunately you're just not entirely aware of how to get out of this headspace of yours so you are looking at different options that are available to you but there is a great worry of where you're gonna have to make cuts in your life in order to ground your emotions and help you to think logically Oh, okay. Um, four of Wands down here. You're trying to be safe and secure in your home. 
You want stability in your home. Complete stability. That makes sense. Um, but you got yourself guarded a little bit. Like, possibly even running people over and not giving a shit because you gotta go. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. Go, 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 go. Three of Pentacles. You're basing talents and skills in order to balance yourself on your pentacles. Trying to climb higher and higher with each stacking. Yeah, you're trying to get your skills up because there might be a heartbreak you're still suffering from. Or maybe your heart's been broken a couple too many times. Like, you're trying to learn how to balance yourself out before, I think, engaging. Because you got the Three of Swords twice over here. There's a fear with, like, getting hurt again then you having to recover. That's what it's more like. Um, there is something, ooh, you want to manifest, and it is the ability to be a cutthroat bitch like the Queen of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, of course. That's what the star man, that's like what you're manifesting. Like, you're causing it to happen with yourself. Like, I think, I, like, one of these days I'm going to listen to you guys and actually make a manifestation video. Because I know a few of you have asked me for one. I'm not really good at explaining shit. I can only explain it from the way I believe. Cancer Moon Tarot and um, Rich Lop are really good at explaining manifestation. But I can give you my own interpretation of it. Which is, you know, um... Let's say you want a bicycle. And you say out loud, I really want a bicycle. The universe will nod its head and be like, I agree. You do want a bicycle. Let's keep you doing it that way. Yay. I'm helping. That's literally how the universe is. It's like, if you tell it you want something, it'll just not give it to you. It'll just think that's all the energy you want is just to keep wanting it. But if you say, I don't want something to happen, it'll bring it right to you. It's weird. You know, and you... You kind of got to watch what you say out loud. Like, your brain is your headspace. Nobody can come into that unless you ask it to. But that's also inviting a whole bunch of other things in your head, too. And that's just scary. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. But what I would say is that um, it helps to sit there and think about what it is you're asking for. Before verbalizing it. Without, I don't know, man. It's like the universe is so freaking weird. And I don't want to interrupt this reading. But yeah, like, I don't know. It's like you kind of asked for the ability to um, be decisive. Because you didn't want to um, be heartbroken and have to recover again. Go through those motions all over again. You're trying to balance yourself out. But that's the obstacle. Is like you're starting to lose, like, I think hope in your situation now this three of swords where you have to recover that's almost coming out as like into the open like the secrets are about to be revealed with the high priestess reverse like she's not really covering anymore she's not guarding you're afraid that that's going to come out that you recovered that you're ready for love is that it you're worried about that, like, becoming, like, well-known? What, are you worried about people wanting to date you? It's kind of weird. Or maybe some secret came out about this Three of Swords when it came up, because this could be a breakup, too. Like, there are actually, like, um, three threes up here. Hmm. Okay, so the Hierophant, where there isn't really much commitment involved in any of this. Someone is um, restricting themselves or losing their strength when it comes to this. Could be a Leo involved here as well. Possibly dealing with this lover's breakup. Could have been dealing with a Gemini. Yeah, someone who made you feel like you could have had a happily ever after. I feel like this person is just Either they're manifesting the Libra or they're manifesting themselves growing colder. All because they just want to balance themselves out. Okay, Somebody, someone made an impulsive mood and made a wish. Just like with the magician right here. To be the fucking emperor. That's what happened. You are currently in charge of shit. 
Sagittarius. That's what's going on with you. You made a wish. You did it on an impulse. You did it with possibly your instinct, your um, intuition. And fire signs, they just go for it. They just, as soon as it hits their heads, it's like, oof. And then they bolt to that because they know intuitively, um, immediately, that's something to work out. I don't know how it is. They're just the first jump starters, right? But you definitely made them. You or somebody else definitely made the move to become the emperor. Like, look at this page of wands just traveling forward. He becomes the emperor. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? You get you get some shit done. Look at you go. Look at you go. That's amazing. I'm actually proud of you. See, this isn't a bad one, but it's just like, what is with this heartbreak, though? There's some justice being involved. Once again, Libra's card. Also, Queen of Swords is Libra's as well. Someone's trying to be justified in how they go about all of this. They're not, like, you're, like, it, Sagittarius, if it's you, cool. If it's not you, this is someone who's trying to take their time with figuring out, um, what it is exactly they're wanting. If they're dealing with you in a relationship, you know, like, they're trying to go about doing the right things. Maybe that's why they're leaving. I mean, if someone doesn't feel open to you anymore, I mean, there's not much you can do. I need to put liquid into that. So pull it over with my superpowers. Okay. Um it seems like whoever is in blue because it's not this person with the heartbreak, and it's definitely not this Queen of Swords right here. It's not the Empress. Um It's not this chick over here. This person's got a hat on, so I don't know if it's him. But this person in red has reality hitting them. The person in blue hasn't hit reality yet. Like, they haven't... It hasn't sunk into their head that, you know, like, there's just no happiness between you two anymore. Wow. Or it's just the happiness doesn't seem to be there right now. Hmm. I like the color scheme because it really gives you an idea of who's who. But someone was definitely wounded by red shirt. Blue shirt was definitely wounded by red shirt. Red shirt had already hit the... Like, red shirt had already um, manifested being a cutthroat. So when the news about the heartbreak hit, blue shirt... <laughs> blue shirt's still waiting to get it. Blue shirt's still waiting to um, be hit with that dose of reality, I'll say. So take your pick on who you are. Red shirt, blue shirt, doesn't matter. Um, all red shirts die in Star Trek. You guys have a good one. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.